नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लिमिट्स वी हैव लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो टेन पाई बाय फोर प्लस एक्स होल रेज टू पावर वन बाय एक्स फाइन फर्स्ट थिंग विच विल डू इज टू चेक द फॉर्म सो इफ यू टेक एक्स एस जीरो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट टेन पाई बाय फोर विच इज वन and in power 1 upon 0 is infinity so this is one power infinity form so whenever you have this type of a scenario limit x tending to a fx power gx and here if limit x tending to a f of x is 1 and limit x tending to a g of x is your infinity then in this case how we solve this we write the solution as we find the evaluate the limit as e power limit x tending to a we bring this power down so gx and we subtract 1 from the base so fx minus 1 so because our given question is of the same form so first do one step we know uh, how to find tan a plus b because tan of a plus b is tan a Plus tan b divided by one minus tan a tan b. So accordingly, limit x tending to zero. Tan pi by four plus x can now be written as tan pi by four, which is one. We know tan pi by four, which is tan forty-five, is one. So tan pi by four, ah, uh, which is one. So better write this as one. So tan pi by four is one plus tan b, which is tan x divided by one minus tan a. Again, tan pi by four, which is one into tan b, which is tan x. So one into tan x will give you tan x, and this raised to power we have one by x. Fine. Now this is one power infinity form because if you put one. Here also, it you will get one plus zero, one minus zero. So one by one is one, and power infinity. So how we solve? We write this as e power limit x tending to zero. Base we first take power down, and base minus one. So one plus ten x. One minus ten x fine. Let's simplify this. So e power limit x tending to zero one by x one plus ten x minus one plus ten x. It will be there. Divided by one minus ten x. So this will be e power limit x tending to zero. One will get cancelled. You are going to get two ten x divided by one minus ten x. So I am going to write.
and this 1 by x is also there. Now we can write this uh, product as product of two limits, okay? Because we we'll know that limit x tending to a fx multiplied by gx can be written as limit x tending to a fx limit x tending to a gx. Limit of a product can be written as product of two limits. So e power limit x tending to 0. I am writing 2 tan x divided by x into limit x tending to 0. Uh, 1 divided by 1 minus tan x. Fine. This is good. Tan x by x at uh, x tending to 0 will give you 1. We know that limit x tending to 0 tan x by x is 1. So this is 1. This 2 can be taken out. So this is 1. So you are getting e power 2. And if you put 0 here, so 1 upon 1 minus 0. So 1 upon 1. So this will give you 1. So e power 2 is what you are getting. Fine. It was easy, isn't it? Uh, just uh, some trigonometric calculations were there. Otherwise, you know that if one power infinity form is there, the power jumps down. As it uh, as the power came down, the 1 by x was the power. So we took the power down. Before that, we simplified a bit because we know 10a plus b is 10 of uh, a plus 10b. So 10 by 4 is 1. So 1 plus 10x divided by 1 minus 10x. Now in the next step, power which was 1 by x that came down and base was subtracted by 1. Then we again simplified, 1 got cancelled, we, we were left with 2 tan x divided by 1 minus tan x. Then we know that limit x tending to 0 tan x by x is 1. So we broke that into product of two limit. One limit whose value we directly know and other we can directly substitute x as 0 to get 1. So finally what we were getting was e square. So for more such problem, you can visit my playlist on limits. Uh, I have solved uh, more such problem on one power infinity and other forms also. So do visit that. Till then, thanks and have a very, very nice day.